Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as always, I'm Eric. Uh, I'd like to say, first of all, uh, thank you for joining me today. I want to welcome back any of my current subscribers, welcome any new subscribers, or anybody that's in between. If you're kind of on the fence, so hope the information and the things I'm sharing could you know, sway you to subscribe and come along on this journey with me. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be quite the journey, guys. <laughs> Uh, it's still funny, I wake up some days and it's just like, man, I can't believe I'm, I'm on this path. But I'm grateful that I am, and I think it's going to be life-changing. And I, uh, I hope to do a, good things along the way, guys, as much as I can. You know what I mean? Um, you guys will see that. I know there's some guys that probably think I'm full of crap and I'm not really going to go through with this or whatever. Or they're probably wondering. Actually, I'm thinking about making a video about why I'm doing videos about the Philippines and stuff like that while I'm still here in America. I've kind of already explained it in some videos, but just in case you guys, you know, because I don't know what videos people see. Um, yeah, I'll probably make a video just specifically explaining that. Uh, excuse me, in kind of, some kind of detail. But yeah, let's get right into it. Um, name of the video is uh, this is part three of say so moving to the Philippines, a step by step guide. I'm just trying to uh, basically, I want to go through five things today, but basically just, you know, go over things kind of as they're unfolding through me, things I think about, things I've learned from other YouTubers, from my Filipina, from you know, my studying. Um, I hope I don't ever come across as, you know, some kind of know-it-all, whatever, because I'm not. You know, I've read a few Filipino, Philippine books, you know. Uh, <laughs> I, I've studied a lot of videos. There's just a couple I was just actually reading earlier today, just kind of going on. I've already read them both, but I kind of just, just go over things, guys, because, you know, you, things get lost, but anyway. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I hope this video finds you guys well. Let's get right into it. Okay, so basically uh, These are just five things you're gonna need or you're gonna need to do or consider um, Like I said before you uh, before you go over there because uh, you don't want to wait till you're already over there. Um, that's that's no good Phone service and I was actually at my phone company last night. I have spectrum um, and As far as I know from what they told me they don't have any international plans outside of Mexico or Canada or I think like the Virgin Islands and stuff like that. Um, I even though it, Guam's a U.S. territory, but she didn't mention Guam, so I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to be in the Philippines, so that's completely useless to me. And the reason why I'm considering, uh, and I might switch to like, uh, I, think they, I think they have Verizon in the Philippines. I'm not sure, guys, but uh, I want something that is, um, can still be uh, used to give me my, uh, uh, my, um, Excuse me, uh, my my you know keep my phone number. Um, and there's you know there's things like Magic Jack, which I was going to talk about too, a Magic App. We can put on your phone. Um, but I think it's still best to have uh, some kind of U.S. service. You can have you know Globe or Smart too when you go to the Philippines. Um, you know for local calls and things like that. But um, like actually, all right, let me give you an example. Okay, I was uh, setting up my. My Zoom, I already have Wise. I'm thinking I'm gonna do remotely and set up Zoom, which is a completely different subject. That's um, money transfer and services, but I'm bringing it up because um, they send you a text at the end to verify. Now, I don't know if you'd be able to get a text from, I'm assuming Wise, I mean, yeah, it's gotta be based here in America. I don't know if they'd be able to text a Globe or Smart number, you know, because obviously it's a completely different service. Um, Maybe I could check into that, but just logic dictates that, um, and from what I, like I said before, what I've what learned from other people, um, it's best to probably have some kind of, uh, you know, phone service that's still um, based here in America, uh, even though they have other branches, you know, like, let's say, like I said earlier, uh, um, Verizon or Sprint, they have all over the world, um, so... Yeah, we'll move on to the next one, but just something to consider, guys. Something to consider, for sure. Um, and yeah, get your Magic app on your phone. Uh, I learned that uh, from a guy over there who does vlogging as well, Steve. Um, he said that you can basically, uh, as long as you have a, an internet connection, Wi-Fi or what have you, uh, you can get calls and texts on your phone just like you were, like they were texting you like you were, when you were still in America or something like that. So that's really big, that's huge. And I don't. I think the, the the fees to use Magic app are real minimal. I'm not sure. I got one of the list of 100 million things I got to do, guys. So, all right. Anyway, moving on to the next one. Um, 
and this is something I've already been looking into and I'm probably going to do for sure because um, I've heard a million expats over there talk about it. Get into Charles Schwab account. Um, and the reason why you want a Charles Schwab account, and there might, other be, there might be other banks too as well, but Charles Schwab, um, what they basically do is they reimburse you for any international uh, fees. You know, because uh, let's say I want to withdraw out $200 uh, over there. Um, you know, that's going to cost me probably $10, $15 uh, every time I want to pull out whatever amount of money. And then I thought to myself, well, maybe I could just pull out my whole you know $1,000 check. But then, you know, I'm not even walking around with 52, 53,000 pesos. And I don't know if that's such a bright idea. So, um, It'd be nice. Those little ten, twelve dollar hits definitely add up uh, as the months and years and whatnot go on. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be living on a two, three thousand dollar pension like some guys over there. So, you know, I can't really. I mean, I could afford it, but I'd rather, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. You know, that ten, twelve bucks. You know, that's five, six, seven hundred pesos. That's that goes a long way over there. So, anyway, something to consider, guys. Definitely. Um, and I also thought about. Uh, getting um i know pnc bank is in uh they have one in manila for sure probably other spots in the philippines too as well um and obviously they're here in america wire to wire transfers now i haven't checked with them yet like i said i'm <laughs> listing many things i gotta do um i don't know if there'd be a fee with it with that i would think there would be but i don't know if you're dealing with the same bank I do know you can't get a bank account until you get your, I believe it's your ACR card after 90 days. So you're kind of going to be flipping it there uh, for the first 90. Uh, so which is one of the reasons why I'm, you know, bringing plenty of pesos and I'll probably bring however much, a grand or two in cash that I can just exchange. Have my wives or million Zoom set up, um, you know, just to kind of float me by until I can open up a bank account over there. Um, and then, like I said, just transfer it. Um, I don't think they have Charles Schwab in the Philippines, but anyway, moving on. So number three, um, and this is something that easily overlooked, uh, bring extra clothes. Uh, me guys, I'm six foot one, uh, with shoes on, um, about 210 pounds, give or take. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, you know, I'm, uh, I'm probably not going to have a real easy time finding clothes all over there that fit me. And this is what I've heard from other expats, et cetera, et cetera. You get the point. Um, I'm going to at least, if I can afford it, triple up on everything, but at least double everything. So, you know, if I get a pair of shorts for every day of the week at 7, I'm going to bring probably about 13, 14 pairs of shorts. Maybe even a couple extra because things can get destroyed. However, I don't know. Um, you know, I like wearing the, the cargo shorts, you know, like most guys do. Um, the longer ones that kind of go down to the knees. I don't like them ones that like cut off at mid thigh. I look like I'm living in 1988. I uh, know. <laughs> um, and I'm probably gonna have a hard time finding that uh, kind of stuff over there. You know, I'm, as you can see, I'm, I mean, I ain't no Arnold Schwarzenegger, but I'm, I'm a decently sized guy, you know, I work out. Um, yeah, you know, Filipinos are, are, are smaller than us guys, you know. I don't know what their average height and weight is, but they're a lot smaller than us. And that's not a knock on them, don't get me wrong. Uh, you know, we're built taller and bigger, and that's just, you know, that's just the way it is, you know, uh, evolution, <laughs> you know. Um, so, yeah, I don't even want to deal with that, really. Um, I'm probably going to bring, actually, probably a couple of good pairs of shoes, too, uh, for sure. Probably at least two pair, uh, maybe a pair of flip-flops or two. Um, cause I wear a size 11, which isn't big here, but from what I understand, finding anything over a size nine, nine and a half over there is a big deal. And that's, my foot isn't going to fit into that. Um, and it might be a problem for any of you guys as well. So definitely consider that guys, bring extra clothes at least double up. That's what I'm doing. And I would recommend you do too. If you can afford it, triple up. Um, you know, and you know, your pajama shirts, your wife beaters, all that stuff. Uh, definitely I'm probably bringing about 20 pairs of underwear. <laughs> Uh, you know, the whole, the whole nine. So, all right. And we'll segue into number four, um, extra electronics. And this is something I kind of learned recently. I wasn't thinking about it, uh, until this hit me, you know, there's so many things to consider guys, but you know, I have a, a decent computer here. It's only about a year old. Um, you know, I'm filming this on my galaxy note, uh, S 25 G, whatever the heck it is. Real nice phone. 
Um, I'm probably not gonna get another one of those because it's like a $1,200 phone, but um, I'm gonna get something. I actually have, a, I think I still have an LG Style 6 or 7, which is only a couple years old. It's not quite as good as this one, but it's just got a little crack in the screen. Probably get that fixed before I go. Just have it as a backup, still just in case. That takes really nice pictures and videos too. Um, it's a step down from the, the Galaxy Note, but you know, just in case, you know what I mean? Might pick me up another computer, uh, even if it's just like an Acer, two, three hundred dollar Acer, just something. This is an HP, but um, you know, just to have a backup, because you never know, guys. You never know. From what I understand, the laptops, electronics over there are actually more than they are here, which is, I know, it's like, whoa, what the hell? You know, everything's supposed to be more expensive here in America, but and a lot of it's not as good quality because it's, you know, China's right there. It's probably made in China, a lot of that. I'm sorry for any, any I don't know if I'm ever, ever going to have any Chinese subscribers, but, you know, no offense to you guys, but, um, you know, a lot, a lot of stuff's made over there. I heard it's changing, though. I heard it's getting better, and I won't get off on that tangent, but... Um, for the longest time, I'm sorry, a lot of stuff in China is made cheap because they make it quickly and they just want to push it out. And that's what it is, but anyway, so yeah, consider electronics, guys, for sure. Uh, oh, and one more thing, um, bringing up a, a, a power strip converter from 240 to 110, especially if you're going to uh, bring any of your um, American devices uh, over there, like, you know, with a laptop, I'll probably be fine. You know, these have a little automatic little converter right in here, but still just in case, even that's kind of warm. And this is these, obviously these, this is one in 10 here in America. Um, and I'm trying to find a place that has an option for both plug-in styles, but the majority is gonna be 240 over there, guys. That's just what it is in the Philippines. And I don't wanna fry any of my stuff. This is expensive equipment. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna definitely bring a converter over for sure. Um, absolutely. And for my gaming system as well too. Um, I'm gonna bring my PS5 over there. So, all right. Um, we'll finish off number five, uh, learn the money. And I'm gonna attach a little uh, clip I did on the end of this here. Uh, got a little stack of pesos here. Um, you know, this is real, real Philippine money. It's not fixed, it's not monopoly money. So I'll attach that at the end and, and do my little spiel and you guys can check that out. Um, everything's gonna be seem cheap over there. Um, everything's not a deal. Um, you know, you got your skin tax, if you're an American, whether you're black or white or whatever, you don't look Filipino, um, odds are you're probably going to get less than the mall or something like that where things are clearly marked. Any street market stuff or anything like that, you're going to get charged at least double. Um, and, and it may still seem like a deal. It's like, oh, wow, that's only 200 pesos. That's, no, that's only four bucks. Well, you know, Filipinos are only paying maybe 80 pesos for it or 100, and you're paying double. Over time, that's going to that's gonna eat away at your wallet, guys. So. Um, definitely look, you know, be as frugal as you can. I know I'm going to be for at least the first couple months. Until I've, so, um, yeah. But, all right, guys, that's all I got for today. Uh, five quick things there. Hope the video didn't go too long. Um, once again, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking me out. If you, uh, if you stayed to the end, um, you're awesome. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it's going to be a great journey, guys, and I really... I hope you join me and um, go on this experience with me. It's definitely going to be life-changing. The it's really indescribable. <laughs> I'll just I'll shut up and I'll let you guys go. Uh, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Hey guys, so uh, just to go along with number. Number four here on my list. Uh, these are uh, Philippine pesos. This is also for any of you that might be doubting my authenticity, let's say. I'm not saying you do, but um, yeah. I mean, why would I have their money if I <laughs> didn't plan on going? So uh, we'll start from uh, here. Uh, these are the thousand pesos, and these are um, you know 20 bucks to us, but these go really far uh, over there, guys, in the Philippines. And, uh, you know, I'm probably also going to have a couple on, on me at, at all times, just in case. But many places, you're not going to need those. Unless you're going, like, to the mall to get something expensive, from, from what I understand. Um, you're not going to need a whole lot of those, uh, really. But you can have a few, just in case you get a change. And if you run out of smaller bills, and you can go somewhere and change. I mean, you guys know how that goes. Uh, but then we get the 500 here. I think I have in total here 
uh, I think it's 5,500 pesos, and I'm going to now order like another 4,400 and whatever. So I'm right at that 9,900 and whatever, 99. It's got to be under 10,000, so you guys don't have to declare it, just so you know. Um, then, yeah, we got the 100, 100 peso bill here. Um, I'm not sure who some of these people are on here. I think I know a couple of them, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, I think that's Corey and Nino Aquino right there, I believe. Um, yeah, then we got, uh, these are the ones you're probably gonna use more of, the 100, you know, the 50, um, and the 20, especially for like your, your tricycle rides. I think that's Jose Rizal. Um, your tricycle rides and taxi and just things like that. You know, don't expect, um, and many other vloggers have said this, but I'm just gonna include it in my channel. Many people there, many businesses aren't gonna have change for this, or maybe not even this. I don't know exactly, but based on what I've heard from guys that are over there, um, talking to my Filipina, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, so those are, those are some pesos there. Uh, also for any of you doubters, uh, thumbs up, man. Uh, this is, I would not be spending, you know, I had to spend a hundred, that much, you know, $125 to get this, but I'm not gonna waste that kind of money just to be making some kind of BS video, guys. So, I <laughs> hope that proves my point. All right. Uh